All right, gonna do a video showing and exposing, by the way, too, uh, Talmudic Judaism and its roots in occultism, because that's the truth of the matter. Judaism is just full on occultism. It's Moloch worship, and this right here proves it. So let's just get right into the article. This is on the uh, Times of Israel, so obviously not some kind of you know neo-Nazi sort. And the problem is too is any, anyone who criticizes Judaism is now some kind of neo-Nazi, which is a bunch of garbage. It, it's how they will silence any kind of actual debate or discussion but it says here on this article season of the jewish as they're calling themselves the occultists reviving jewish witchcraft and folklore far from far from rejecting magic practitioners judaism or at least the kabbalistic stand, uh, strands of it have has long embraced them but these aren't dark pagan arts associated with halloween well i would argue that judaism is pagan so they're uh, self-deceived if they think that so Continuing on the article, it says, Occult practices and totems are a, mainst are a mainstay of, ha of the uh, Halloween season and sage bundles, altars, and crystals and are an increasingly trendy way to dabble in divination and witchcraft. But the spooky supernatural world also has a long history long history in Judaism. The mo and modern Jew witches are encouraging that connection through their practices often slightly differ from their non-Jewish contem contemporaries. I do not burn sage, said Zoe Jacobi who runs Jewitches, a popular blog and podcast which dives deep into ancient Jewish witch, uh, Jewish myths, sorry, same thing pretty much, and folkloric practices. The sage-related ritual of smudging, an indigenous ceremony popular among modern witches for cleansing a person or place of negative energy, quote, it's not a Jewish practice, unquote, she said, but Jews had crystals, actually, they would call them gems. Jacobi, I think I'll say her name, and her peers are revitalizing ancient Jewish practices of witchcraft, which have been see, see, uh, seeing something of a revival as of late. Far from having an uneasy relationship with magic practitioners, Judaism, or at least a Kabbalistic strands of it, has long, long embraced them. Straight out of the horse's mouth, they are admitting that their religion of uh, their false, uh, demonic, blasphemous religion of Talmudic Judaism is essentially just occultism, it's rooted in, in occultic witchcraft. But Continuing on, uh, Jacob, uh, Jacoby, based in Los Angeles, studies those gems rule in Jewish ritual, along with the connection between assorted other uh, between assorted other magical artifacts and Jude Judaica, whatever you say it. Eight shelves in her home are filled with books on Judaism, and as well as Jewish magic, witchcraft, and folklore. Her studies have revealed the historical ways that items like gems have been used in Jewish magical corresp uh, correspondences, like healing crystals. Gems are meant to protect and heal based on their properties, according to, according to the Midrash, Numbers, Rabbah. 2-7, or rabbinic interpretation of the Bible. For example, sapphire was thought to strengthen eyesight. It is a, oh, by the way, to the quote from the Bible, uh, doesn't Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 10 to 12 condemn this kind of stuff? But you see, it's their traditions overthrowing scripture, as Jesus rebuked the uh, Talmudic Pharisees for in Matthew 15, verse 1 to 9. Because that's what Judaism is. It's man. It, they'll they'll give lip service to the, the uh, Holy Torah, but it's just their man-made traditions overthrowing the Torah and the laws of Moses, which condemn this kind of practice. See, like I said, Judaism is cultism and witchcraft. But it says here, continuing on in, in this article, uh, it is a it is in a me medieval text called the Sefer Ha Gematarat. Uh, Jacob said, "Quote: But if we go, if even if we go to the Torah, we see crystals on the breastplates of." The high priests of Israel. Yeah, but they weren't being used for some kind of divination and witchcraft in the Torah. Because it explicitly condemns that. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 10 to 12. It, 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 it literally uses the word witchcraft and condemns it. But, of course, we're not going to go through that. Because, again, our, our Talmudic traditions of, of Judaism overthrow the word of God. But continuing on, many Jewish rituals today have their roots in warding off demons, ghosts, and other mythological creatures. When we break glass at a wedding, scholars say we're not just remembering the destruction of the temple, we're also scaring off evil spirits. No scripture to back that up whatsoever. Scaring off evil spirits that we might uh, that that may want to hurt the bride and the groom. Likewise, ancient Jews believe that the me mezua. See, they're always saying ancient this, ancient that because what? It's their man-made traditions overthrowing scripture. Because they really can't back this up from the word of God. So they have to go through the, to their uh, Talmudic Jewish traditions. See, again, why do you make void the commandments of God by your tradition? Talks about that in Matthew 15, verse 1 to 9. Jesus rebukes them for that. But continuing on, a small box, uh, 
affixed to the doorstep containing biblical verses on a patchment. See, they're mixing witchcraft with the Bible, mixing the holy and the profane. Well, because of course we're not going to, we're going to just ignore those scriptures. Uh, they are, apparently. Protected them from the messengers of evil, a function parallel uh, of that of an ambulant or good luck charm. The Mizua is absolutely an ambulant, says Rebecca Ariv, a Jewish feminist artist. Yeah, feminism is witchcraft. Let me just throw that out there. You see, they're always feminists. Because why? Rebellion is as the uh, sin of witchcraft. Feminism is, in fact, witchcraft. Feminist artist, activist, and Kohen, Kohen Net, Hebrew priest sex, a gender neutral term for priest. Why? Wow, I gotta love that. Who uses pronouns they and them, teaches online courses on Jewish magic. I consider it to be a reminder of the presence of a spirit or of goddess. Goddess, what? Of the Shekinah, uh, dwelling and settling of the divine presence of God, much of magic is about reminding ourselves that we're all connected and that everything is alive and inanimate. Uh, wait a second, I thought this was based on the, the Torah. Where do we see anything about a goddess that's actually being mentioned in a good light? See, there are goddesses that are mentioned, but they're being condemned. But of course, you know, it's their Talmudic traditions overthrowing God's clear commands that go against this kind of stuff. The moniker, so continuing on in the article, the moniker Jewish can be can itself be seen as controversial within the group. Uh, Irev first heard the term while attending the 2014 Jewish Collective Retreat in the Bay Area. I feel that any word that identifies somebody as a witch is controversial in nature because of how society, including Jewish society, has demonized witches, leading to violence and ostracizing. Uh, Irev said, even though they uh, do consider witchcraft and Judaism to be major tenets of life. Or they both consider that. Uh, to be a Jew and to be a witch has, uh, has serious repercussions throughout uh, throughout time. I hope that the recent popularity of the term Jew witch will bring more uh, acceptance and understanding of both identities and help make our practices more widely accessible. They said uh, the reason why they got backlash was because in in, in re, you know what they would call religious religious areas is because the word of God condemns it. But then they're saying the Torah is kind of giving grounds to it. No, it doesn't. Bunch of garbage. But that's that's Judaism for you. They're making void the commandments of God by their Talmudic Jewish occult traditions. Like I said before, Judaism is a false religion. You, if you deny the Son, you you uh, don't have the Father. First John chapter two verse twenty two to twenty three. Okay, uh, Judaism is a false religion. There's no other way. There's no way around that. If it denies Christ as salvation, it's a false religion leading to hell. Call me call me an anti semite all you want, but that's just what the Word of God says. So I stand by scripture. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be, uh, be with all the brethren. Goodbye.